during this lockdown period, we got a lot of time to introspect, to figure out what are we doing? We've been given some instructions from the government, stay at home, stay locked down, don't come outside, wear a mask, wear gloves, plethora of different instructions. And all of us followed it very diligently. But the interesting thing is, during this lockdown time, I got a chance to figure out, you know, we've been talking in the corporate world about VUCA, which is volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity, V-U-C-A. This is what we are facing. We are, cannot go back to doing training in groups again. We cannot have these mass sessions so soon. It's a changed world. The business model that we knew is no longer existent. How does education cope with that? How do teachers start to teach differently? I read an email recently where some of the parents were talking about, we are seeing the teachers live for the first time. And some of them have pronunciation problems. Some of them cannot spell the words. Some of them are so rude and they have a bad attitude. Now parents are almost in your classroom. So as a teacher, do you need a better style for teaching? Do you need to, uh, to work your methodology differently? For instance, your lesson plan? Yes, there's a lot of changes that are going to happen. Teachers are also going to have to be adept at using Zoom calls or Google Classroom or Skype. Technology has to be, uh, you know, at our fingertips now. We've had technology in terms of smartphones and computers, but now how to use the different apps? How to use them effectively? Can you create your own video and send it out? A lot of our branding is going to be done now on digital space. The world today is going to be different, but the few changes that I would suggest. Number one, first of all, know what is your value? What is it that you bring to the table? So I describe value as a strength, a skill, a power, a talent, or some attribute that you have that other people might need and they are willing to pay for it. I said willing to pay for it. You don't have to take payment for everything. But if people are not willing to pay you for what you give them, it means really you don't have that much of value. It's different if you're doing it as charity and giving it away free. But will some people pay you for that same talent? So if you're a singer, will somebody pay you for singing? Or they say you're singing for free, so it's okay, you can sing. That's not value. Value is something people will pay for. So what is your value? It's not the, the education level that you have. It's not the job that you've been doing. It's a new world. New jobs are going to come up. Are you ready for those new jobs? So one thing is you have to find out what's your value. The second thing is you have to find out a lot of other things that can go as a value add to your value. Do you know what that is? So for me, for instance, as a trainer, as a coach, now I have to be able to master the digital space. I've been making videos for long enough. I've been also sending them out on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on the different social media platforms that there are. And I know how to do that now. So I'm really not in a bad shape. I can actually take this and I can juice this to the max of my capability. The question is, are you ready to take on an alternate career? So a good question for all of us to answer is, if my line fails, what do I do next? On the education side, we should also figure out, are we preparing children? Let's say they're starting now, their career path. 15, 17, 18 years later, they're gonna be in, in a workspace. Do we know what's gonna be required 18 years later? I'll tell you the answer, no. None of us know what's happening. But we can predict in the next six months, one year, what could happen. But we are preparing children for 18 years later. So education has to be very flexible. It has to give them a multiple set of of uh, you know capabilities so that tomorrow's world doesn't matter what that world is they already have so many different attributes they can pull to the table and make a new formula out of so overall you have to be able to put the value add around the value that you already have the other thing is if you're networked well collective intelligence comes into play if you're waiting just read the paper and see what the papers are predicting let me tell you governments don't know what's happening Education or academia doesn't know what's happening. People like me in the corporate world as trainers don't know what's happening, at least six months, one year from now. But one thing we do know, we have intrinsic capability. We have a ton of different attributes that we can pull together. And we know somehow we will make it work. I think the world needs to understand we cannot predict anymore what's going to happen. So old paradigms are going to fall by the wayside. New attributes and new 
capabilities will have to come to the table. Just for a factoid for all of you, six out of the top 10 jobs in the world today were not around even five years ago. That's how fast the world is changing. And I'm sure after COVID, it'll change much faster. So my message to all of you, please keep networked. Collective intelligence will be brought into play. And the last bit of advice I believe is doesn't matter what happens on your professional world, doesn't matter. What's most important is how do you connect well with your family? Finally, I'll tell you this, your family is going to be the ones with you in a lockdown. You can't rely on friends, you can't rely on colleagues, you can't rely on neighbors, but your family, your closest family should be at that close to you and you need to respect and trust them. So it's time to build trust. It's trying to, to work on respect levels that we already had. And it's time to keep an open mind for what's going to happen tomorrow. My, my closing bit of advice to all of you, my dear friends is, it's a changed world out there. But the question is, how much are you willing to change? That will determine how successful or how happy you are.